Hey, hey, crafty friends, and welcome back to Vintage Lace Journal. It's Annie here with another quick project for you. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make this lovely Christmassy, yes, I said the C word, Christmassy policy envelope. Um, this is just a front I've made a prototype as we do. And it's got the two little closures on the front. We then open up and open up. And that's as far as I got because I wanted to do the rest of it kind of like uh, along with you guys. So I just wanted to make sure that the actual outside of this work, because the rest of it's going to be kind of like decorating. Now, alongside this, and this is what I've used on here, um, I've used a kit from the Junk Journal Studio and their new kit is absolutely fantastic. It's 33 pages of winter collage and cluster mega pack. Now, this is um, one of the um, papers from there. I'll just show you what this looks like um, when it came out. It's kind of like um, a trifold. Actually, if I just bring these in. So this is the cluster pack. Now, I haven't printed all of them off at, at the moment. I've just printed off the pages that I'm going to use. But they are all these beautiful themes. And in the UK, it translates to about £3.13 uh, or £3.03, £3 something like that, for this kit, which makes this about 10 pence a sheet incredible value so junk journal studios obviously go to the etsy page and it's a winter collage and cluster mega pack so this is page one and i know that there's a flip through on the junk journal um, studio channel so i'll link that at the bottom as well i want to use these labels they're all wintry and because the theme i'm going to be doing today is blue and green to link in with these colors and then there's a whole page of these gorgeous christmas stamps absolutely beautiful i love those uh, again, these lovely tickets. These were in the um, uh, autumn, the fall cluster pack, but they've just um, got a different colour this time. So they were oranges colours in the autumn one. And obviously for winter, it's the blues and greens. Then again, these lovely words. And again, once you've got these, you can just print up as many as you like and cut them out as you need them. And then the green along with these. So these are two inches. Um, so you should be able to use this as a two inch punch. So you just pop that inside there. Um, obviously it's going to go into there but cut that bit out then you can obviously just punch those out there now these are what I'm talking about so this is what I've used as the basis for my policy envelope okay because obviously there's three patterns on there and there's three sides to this envelope so the one I used was this one and it turns out to look like this I'll show you how to do that in a moment now here comes the exciting bit I have got a freebie code for you. Now, Michelle from Junk Journal Studio has got a Kofi channel, Kofi, coffee, whatever you want to say. Um, so go over to her Kofi and there is two sets of freebies on there at the moment. Now, the first set of freebie is freebie 12. Um, obviously, please buy her coffee because the work she does is actually amazing to come across and print all of these and to give these for free is so so generous so the first one again is these circles and again these go in with your punches so you'll be able to pop these uh, inside your two inch punch and punch those out and i think these ones are same as a this one's a one inch or one and a half inch so yeah these are really easy to uh, rather than cut out they just punch out You've got page two, which is these kind of like labels in the blues and greens again. So these are blank for you to stamp in and put in what you want, sentiment wise. And then we've got these awesome bingo cards, which I'm going to be using my project today. So these are in that kind of blues and greens as well. So that's the first Kofi pack that's free. That's a pack of three pages. OK, and then the second one is more of these kind of like images with the three um, panels, which I absolutely love. So this is page one. And these all coordinate with the winter collage and cluster mega pack. So these are free to go alongside with the other mega pack you can get as well. Then we've got the same one in these kind of greens. This so reminds me of a wallpaper we used to have in the 80s, like a fleur de lis pattern. So the greens and the like frosted um, leaves in there. And then you've got these gorgeous blue, green and dark blue swirls. That's the page three. And then this one, this hasn't come out very well on my printer. I think my yellow ink's getting low. This is a green, should be a greenish kind of colour, the stripes and then the blue. So I'm going to replace my ink um, at the weekend. So these, like I said, if you pop over to um, uh, Michelle's Etsy, Junk Journal Studio, not Etsy, sorry, uh, Kofi, I will link these again below. And you can go and grab yourself these freebies. But like I said, please think about, you know, buying a coffee for these creators. And I know lots of creators do digital kits now. Lots of creators give away things for free on Kofi. 
you know a few dollars a few pounds for a coffee um is the least i think you can do so let's get cracking so the first thing i did i'm going to use a oops, lift one this time so the first we're going to do is going to cut this um panels down so i'm just going to bring that back in again a little bit So this time I'm going to use this panel, okay? So it's got the light blue with the snowflakes on. My light's really bright in here. You can't see that. It's very faint. We've got the dark blue with the snowflakes and then the beautiful green there. So the first thing I did was bring in my trimmer. And I'm going to trim this down along the edges of where these are so obviously you do get some of these panels in your freebie from your kofi 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 coffee so i'm just trimming down all those white bits off there we go last one okay now on here you can see where the panels are joined there's a white bit but don't worry about this because we're going to enhance this so bring in a scoreboard, if you don't have a scoreboard you can just eyeball it and fold it and what I'm going to do is roughly meet that in the middle and I'm just going to run down there and again on this one just line it up so it's in the middle of your panel and then fold it. So I'm going to fold this panel up to be my base panel i'm going to fold this one down to be my top panel okay now what i'm going to do with this top panel is i'm going to trim some of that off because i don't need all of that so i'm just going to bring my trimmer and roughly cut halfway down okay and that's created the base for our pocket like this okay so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to round the corner of this top one oops i didn't go in very well and top one there just to give it that nice little rounded corner and then i'm going to come in with my ink now because of the color of this one um i've done on this one brown ink because obviously the edges of the ink of us the colors of this is brown the colors of this one is this lovely blue color so i'm going to come in with a blue so i'm just going to change the head of my stamper and i'm going to use this one this is called a uh, love lavender it's like a chalk ink doesn't matter what ink you use and i'm just going to go around and pick up the edges now what this does is dual purpose it does give that lovely border to your policy documents but it also takes away that white that was in between so where you've got that white border just coming in with your ink blends that whiteness in let's open that up and come around the front And again, so you can see this border here at the moment, then just come in with that ink and that blends that all in to the folder. You could use a dark ink on the, this dark blue if you want to, but I think that's um, quite a nice colour, doesn't make it too dramatic. So there we go, just that one edge there as well. Okay, so that's the basis of our document. Now, the next thing I did with that piece that we cut off. So this little piece that we cut off. No, that's not that little piece. That's not the right colour. Where's that gone? So with the piece of blue that was left over, I'm going to come along with my, I think this is one inch punch. And I'm going to punch out three circles. So one. Two, three, for my top closure, 
and then one, two, three, for my bottom closure. Now I'm just going to come in some tacky glue. I'm going to find the image that I like the most. So the ones at the bottom are quite darker, so I'm going to choose those ones. So those ones are going to go on top, so I'm not going to put any glue on those. And then these bottom ones, Choose that one. So I just want to come in with some tacky glue. Just clear my nozzle. So just pop some glue on four of these. And what we do is we layer them up to create that closure. And that makes the paper or the card that little bit thicker, a bit more sturdier. So the glue on four of those and then put one on top of that one and then the one I want on the top on top and then just make sure that they all line up okay so you get like a little bit more thickness there and then just pop that down and again pop one on top of that one and then the other one on top line them up and I just give them a push down. All right. And I'm just going to pop them out of the way just to dry. Okay, so what that will happen is I'll just ink round these as well. Just to lift that colour. Probably best to wait until these were dry, to be fair. There we go. Who, which crafter is patient? <laughs> we want things done especially when we're filming. There we go. So that's just lifted that edge, give that a nice colour. So just pop them over there to dry. So that will go on the outside as our closure and then one at the bottom there. So I'm going to think about opening this up now and decorating the inside because obviously the inside is just a plain white colour. So I'm going to come in with those lovely bingo cards and I'm going to put one of those bingo cards on the cross here as a pocket. Just bring back my trimmer. Okay, there's this lovely ruler along here as well. I think that's really fantastic. Obviously, it's not to scale, but um, yeah, I like the idea. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure. This is going to go across the bottom to there. So it's just a little bit smaller. So I've just trimmed off a bit too much on one end. So I'm going to come in with my ink again. And this time I'm going to go around bring in my trusty acrylic block. So I'm just going to come in and Rather than just do the edges, I'm going to come in and kind of like go from the sides, give that wider blue. So it's going around in circular motions just to pull that colour in from the edges into the paper. There we go. So then I'm just going to attach my pocket with my bingo ticket either side and obviously just glue those three edges. So down one end and the other and cross the bottom. And this is a really nice um, idea to use for flat mail if you're posting anything Christmassy wise. Just leaving that little gap either end and making sure that that pocket still folds up. Whoops, being a bit too impatient again. If you wanted to, you could obviously do your little um, notch in there for a pocket, but I don't think that's really necessary by the time we pop things in there. Okay, now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to pop on my closures just because when I push my brad through, as you can see on my prototype one, you do get where the brad is going to be. 
Um, so to stop that happening, obviously I'm going to just, or to cover it up, I'm just going to put a piece of paper over the top there. So I'm just going to measure across, and this should be seven. So seven inches, so I'm just going to get my pencil to measure three and a half. And obviously that's not where I put my dots, not where I want the thing, it's just obviously measuring where the halfway point is. So I'm going to come in with my pokey tool and my rubber. And I actually want my hole to be to sit centrally there. So I'm just going to rub that one out. And I like to put a rubber behind my pokey tool. Um, just to stop any holes going where they shouldn't be. So I'm going to poke through that first. And then hole in the middle. Now, because that's a nice um, blue colour, I need my brads. And I've got a nice dark blue brad, which will go well on that. So pop your brad in your little closure we made, and then pop it through. Now push right down when you open these up to make sure you get the closest possible fix to your paper. There you go, so that's our top one done. And then the bottom one is going to go down here. So again, I'm just going to put my hole through this first. And then roughly bring my pencil down. So I'm going to want that about there. Can't see where I put my mark now. There it is. And again, just poking that hole through. Now this time, um, do I put a green brad in or do I put a blue brad in? I don't want to do the same colour. Otherwise, I think it might look a bit strange. Even though it's on a green background, it will kind of like stand out. And again, pop that down and then open up your little brads. Okay, so that's our closure on the front. Let's pop those away. I've had those brads for years. You know when you start, I used to start, well, I've got a card making channel as well, which I haven't done a lot of card making for a long time. I've got so many card making things. Um, okay, so now we've got a little pocket in there. I'm just going to wait for that to dry before we fill, fill it with things. So I'm now going to cover these two brads up. And again, I'm going to bring in um, these lovely papers and decide what I'm going to put where. So I want to strip the colours. I'm going to bring my freebies in. So these are the Kofi freebies. Oh, this one would look lovely. So I'm going to choose this one to go on the top there. So I'll just bring my trimmer in. I've printed these onto paper because I was going to know I was going to use them as um, backgrounds rather than a feature. So a lot of people ask me what kind of like cardstock I use. If I'm doing this back bit, um, that was printed onto 160 GSM or up to like 200. I don't want it really thick because obviously you need to um, fold it. Whereas if I'm doing anything that's background wise, I always print onto just paper because obviously... Um, it doesn't need to be really thick for the job it's doing. Okay, so I'm going to leave a border around the edge of this. So I like to just bring my pencil in to mark bits there and there. I'll do a bigger mark because I always lose it. So again, just trim this down. There we go, that should fit in there. Now, because these corners are rounded, obviously you're going to have to round these corners. So, pop that in and 
just round those corners and then that will sit in there beautifully so I'm just going to come in with my glue I need to top my bottle up it's getting a bit low so obviously make sure you've got those edges first of all and then just wiggle down the middle with your glue so this does dual purpose it covers up that brad but it also gives that lovely patterned paper there i'm just going to hold that over there just while that glues it sticks got my words out tonight it's been a while there we go so that's kind of like covered up that brad that we've got on the front there Okay, so the last thing we're going to do is this bottom part here. And again, keep it in that blue theme. And again, this is from the freebie. I'm going to use this lovely blue swirly colour on here. So I think that will look lovely on the bottom. Okay, so I think everyone's getting their Christmas things on now. And loads more things appear on Facebook and places. Which one should I use? The dark or the lighter? I think I'm going to use the dark one. Yeah, I've seen lots of them. Um, it gets to the 1st of November and all of a sudden it's like, bam, Christmas is here. And it won't be long. So one of my friends has put their Christmas tree up already. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. I love Christmas, but yeah, a bit too early for me. Now I'm going to line this up with my pocket up here. Uh, sorry my pocket there so bringing that in i'm going to mark that there and then just slightly up at the bottom put that in there and just a smidge off the bottom so again that will then go onto there so again, just coming in with my glue. And then a wiggle down the middle. These colours just blend in beautifully together. They just are well, absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to hold that bit over there because obviously where the brad sticks up, it's kind of like lifted that paper just a little bit. So hold that in. There we go. Now we have our bottom section there. So all of our bits are now covered. We've got that lovely blue on the back. We've got our plain bit on the front. Open up with our pocket in here. Now, here comes the fun part. It's decoration time. Now, inside the pocket, obviously, we've got lots of bits and pieces we can put inside there. Uh, and on the bottom here, when it opens up. Now, you could open up and put another pocket on here, which I think I might do. Let me think. But then if I close it, our thing is going to fall out. Okay. So, I am going to put... Um, love these stamps so on the front i'm going to concentrate on doing this bit first now as a closure i've just got some uh, green twine which again i put down somewhere here it is where is it <laughs> i've got so few things out and it's still disappeared I have no idea where that's gone. How strange. Do you know, I'll clear up and it'll just uh, be staring at me right in the face. Anyway, let's do come back to that in a moment. So I'm going to do some nice little things on here. So one of the things I'm going to use is one of the stamps. Now, this is the um, smaller size. These comes in like a bigger size. And then Michelle's are the same designs, but slightly smaller. So I'm liking this one here because it's obviously got the blues and the greens in it that link in with my theme. So I'm just going to come down. This is another job for another day, is fussy cutting them. Um, I love the way Michelle does her stamps as well, because actually, rather than you having to try and really try to cut round 
can you see that lovely stamp edge she's actually put a board around it so as a crafter it's fab because you can just obviously square cut it and you haven't got to try and cut all of those um individual little sections out for the stamp that sort of scalloped edge which is nigh on impossible unless you've got obviously scalloped scissors so lovely look at that. it's like a white poncettia so i'm going to pop that there Do ah, look what I've just found. See, I know it would be around here somewhere. Okay, so let's put this on so I can see where it's going to go. So, when I do this, I'm going to attach mine to my bottom one. So, come up for the bottom, and then I just do a tie and another one just to put that in a knot just so it won't come undone. Got lots of fireworks going off here tonight as well. It's bonfire night in the UK Sunday. There we go. And just give that a snip. Scissors have now gone. There they are. That mysterious person that comes in the craft room when you're trying to craft and hides everything. There we go. And then obviously that will then go up. And I always do figure of eight round. up again and then enough to just come down or trim that about there okay so we now know where that's going to sit there so i'm going to put something along this little side here so these tickets um come in with this kit as well and i think i might do one of these per having on i'm going to do that nice dark blue Now again, these have got a scalloped edge. I'm just going to trim it square. You can leave a little bit of white onto this if you want to, it's fine. I'm just going to pop that there. Okay. Now down the bottom here, I'm going to do kind of like, whoop. I'm going to do um, perhaps a little bit of collage now. Actually, I think it looks quite nice, quite plain. I don't want to overdo it. It looks quite nice as it is. I'm going to put something along the top here. So, again, let's have a little look at what I've printed. And obviously, there's loads more stuff. I haven't printed out half the stuff that I could have printed out. So I've got these beautiful words as well. Put one of them on the front down the bottom, December. I think the thing is with decorating is knowing when to stop. Obviously, you can keep layering up and putting more and more things on, and that's the fun part about crafting, isn't it? It's doing the decorating bits. So that nice link seal in with the blue over there. And I might punch out, where is my snowflakes? Have a good punch on one of these out. Could have used these actually as a closure. That would have been quite nice, like a top layer on the on the closure, thinking about it. So to punch these out, what I'm going to do is roughly cut round it. And then you should be able to just pop that in your hole punch. You just need to cut that a little bit more off there. So hole punch, pop it in. Okay. 
There we go. That's my hole punch. Ooh. It's not quite punch that. It's too soft, too gentle. Should have given a bit more welly. But as you can see, it's perfect fit. Um, it perfectly fits in this one inch hole punch. I might just pop that behind there, this side, before that dries. It might be too late. Lift that up and just pop that behind there. There we go. So I'm going to leave that as my front and then I'm going to think about doing my inside. Um, okay, I'm going to use some of these beautiful images from the kit. And I love this snowman. He's quite a jolly chap there. So I'm going to come in with my trimmer for this one. Just because I know that my cutting's not amazing. And I want just a slight border around it as well. So just making sure I'm not cutting anything else as I do this. Just cut that out. And then just leaving that very slight border all the way around. Keep on the straight edges. Where's that last one? There. Okay, so I've given that just like a little white border all the way around the edge. So I'm going to pop that in there. So I'm going to give that a little bit of um. Go slightly darker this time. This one's called Sailor Suit. So there's a bit more of a darker blue just to lift those edges. Okay. I'm just going to pop that there. I'm actually going to put that down with foam pads so that will lift the image up. Just two big ones there. And just cut one in half the edge. I love using foam pads because I think it just gives that element of um, kind of like different side, lifts the edge of the image up rather than just being flat all the time. little jolly snowman there he's so cute I love him and then on the other side I'm going to choose Let's have a little look. I might do a bit of layering so I'm going to cut out and have to try a bit more success this time using a punch So this is a two inch circle with a two inch punch and hopefully line it up. Much better. There we go. So you can clearly see that's punched out brilliantly, that lovely black edge around the outside. So um when you come to do these, don't try and fuzzy cut them out. If you've got punches, punch them out. So I'm going to do a bit of layering on here this time. So I'm going to use one of those. I think I might put a bit of green in here to give it a bit of difference. I might put snowflakes because obviously that links in with the theme of the snow there.
So the blues and the greens on all of this kit just work so well together. Right, snowflakes. And I've got these lovely tickets. Um, so what size? I think probably about this size. And the good thing about digital kits, like I said before, is once you've bought the kit and you've downloaded it, I've just started to put mine into, um, I'll show you in a minute, folders. And that way, all of the pieces for the kits are in the same place. So I can see which pages I've got if I need to download extra pages. And I've always kind of like kept what I've got. Put that in there. Um, I do one of these snowflakes behind there as well. So again, coming in with my punch. It's easy if you leave yourself a bit of something to hold on to um, on the edges. There we go. So another little snowflake. Put that behind there. And put that there. One there. <clears throat> what else have we got? I don't think I'm going to use them on this project. But again, once you've got these, I'll just show you these wallets I've got. These are A4 clear wallets. So this is the Junk Jam Studio Fussy uh, Birds Fussy Cuts. So obviously I've printed all the pages off pop them in here, pop on the front what they are, and obviously then when I need to just get out some birds, they're already there. So these are a really good buy <clears throat> if you're thinking about um, storing your digitals. So this one was obviously the Fallen Collage Cluster Mega Pack, that's Junk Down Studio, and here I've cut them all out and I've put them into paper clips. So all of the um, stamps are in a paper clip, all of the little tea cards are in another one. So they're all in a pack, ready to go. Once I finish with this, I will do the same. Right, okay, I'm just going to put a little stamp on here. I might use one of these. Let me see, there's a lovely ornate W for winter. Pop one there on. I'm going to choose the smallest one. So, again, just fussy cut these out. And then it's just a case of collaging it up, layering it up on your page as and when you like it. So I'm going to put that in the bottom. Right, so let's start to layer these up. Keep them down here as I had them so I know where I want them. I'm going to just do a little bit of inking around this snowflake. So snowflake down first. So a good tip when I do this is I don't always glue to the side. So I'm going to glue in the centre and just leave those edges lifted. And at the same time, I'm going to glue this part because I know that that's going to go underneath. So kind of like glue two things together at the same time. And then that was going to go there and then just lift that. Just pop that little ticket out, popping out of there. And then the little W I was going to have just there. Almost kind of like layer it up in your head as you want it first before you then stick it all down. And then the snowflakes I'm going to have going right across the centre. And you could put gift cards in here in this little tuck spot. Um, you might want to write your own messages. These would be really good. Um, I can find it now. To, from, they're really good for Christmas time. You could cut these out and make labels, put them onto um, labels and put to and from onto these. So I might do another project showing you how to do, use those in your projects. And then, yeah, I think that's enough for that. I think we'll get it too busy. That's kind of like layered up those elements from the the kit so it comes to this part here now so just little things we're going to like cut out and stick in here 
So again, I printed these on 160 GSM card. So they're not really thick, but they're sturdy enough to use as um, embellishments. And again, you can leave these blank. You could write little messages on the back. Well, this is just a really nice thing, perhaps to send to somebody with their, with your own kind of eph ephemera in it. Let's have one of these ones as well. It's a little bit different. So we're going to cut some of the blue and some of the green. This is a bit like the stuffed pocket. So then you then go in and put all the lovely little things inside here. There we go. I'm going to come in with another one of these images. This is beautiful. I'll go with the greens. It's a nice little kind of Christmas gift if you've got a crafty friend. And again, because this is flat, it'll make a nice flat mail. Thinking about getting ready to send things in the Christmas post. Pop that one in there. And a couple of things. I've got these nice little labels. I might put one of those in as well. If you're doing any Christmas crafting, if you've got any Christmas fairs coming up, again, something like this, you get all your little ephemera inside. So there we go. Let me close that up with our figure of eight. There we have it. So it's our policy envelope. Just using one of those three panels. And you open it up, it's got those lovely little bits on the front, open it up, and then you've got your envelope inside. I've done that little bit of decoupage, I my decoupage, I can't get my words out today. A little bit of um, collaging down the bottom there as well. There's that lovely snowman image, it's just been lifted with those foam pads. And then again, you can stuff this with whatever you please, gift cards, more ephemera. Um, you could even put a little Christmas card in here if you wanted to as well. So yeah, nice little um, quick make. And again, remember to get your freebies from the Junk Journal Studio. So I'll list everything that I've used um, below. Let's grab my other one. Okay, so this one was a different paper. Let's grab that one out. So again, Lots of these ones that come with the three panels. That's a really good way to make envelopes. Just trim them down, fold and fold. You don't have to cut as much of this off if you want to. Um, but yeah, the images on here are absolutely gorgeous to make these little envelopes with. So have a go. Hope you enjoyed this little crafty um, session today. And I'll see you all again soon. Crafty hugs. Bye.